friends welcome back to another video so in today's video i'm going to show you how to remove polygel extension so before we start with the video please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified about all my new videos so let's begin I did these nails a couple of weeks ago I think it's been two and a half weeks now and there is a fair growth on my natural nails so it's time for me to remove this and for the removal uh, I'll be using my e-file so if you have seen me removing the acrylic nails you know that I use the e-file to remove most of the product and then I soak it off similarly I'll be using my e-file to remove it and I will be using this uh, ceramic uh, ceramic bit uh, to remove uh, the product and uh, uh, this is my e-file I'm just inserting the bit and then I'll start removing the product apart from the e-file I also have a dust collector to collect all the dust so if you don't know polygel is uh, uh, so easy to you know file off so it also leaves a lot of dust so it's better to have a dust collector so I got this from Amazon I have a separate review video of this product on my channel I'll leave the link in the description box and uh, also on the screen somewhere so you guys can check it out uh, and also when you do the filing always wear a mask so that you don't inhale that dust particles so uh, before I file off I am going to clip off the extra length and then I'll be starting the filing Once you clip off the length of the nails then you can start filing off the product. So as you can see I have already started filing off the product and also my e-file is on a 12,000 rpm speed and I am using the belly side of the bit to file off most of the product and that is the side which is very efficient when it comes to removing product in bulk and when you go to the cuticle area that's when you can use the tip side of the bit as you can see on the screen I am removing the uh, uh, cuticle area product I already have a little extra length natural nails right so your bit is not supposed to touch your natural nails so you have to be very careful here and also don't keep on filing at one side you have to uh, you know keep on moving your bit and you keep on removing product from all over your nails that way you don't get the heat spikes so let's continue with the filing since it's a polygel extension I have a gel base underneath my extension so I'm not going to remove all the product from the nails using the e-file I'm only going to remove 90% of the product from the nail surface after that uh, you can either use a hand file or you can use that sand band to remove the rest of the products never ever touch your natural nails with the bits so be careful uh, so that is one reason mostly people damage their natural nails while using the e-file so just be careful that you are not touching your natural nails while using the e-file one more tip um, this again uh, when you are reaching the natural nail plate uh, just ensure that you are not applying any pressure so when you start with the filing when you have a lot of product on then you can put little pressure to remove uh, the product in bulk but once you are uh, close to your natural nail plate just ensure that you are just gently removing you are literally it's it, it has to be like a feather touch do not put any pressure uh, if you put pressure what happens this bit can just reach to your natural nails and it might give you like intense pain so just be careful there also I have removed 95% of the product from my nails so as you can see now my nails are really thin and next uh, we have to use a, a removal pad or you can also use cotton and acetone um, so here I have model ones removal pad so this is what I'm going to soak off the rest of the product from my natural nails you can buy these pads from model ones website or if you're buying some other products they send these as a gift so uh, if you don't have this as i mentioned you can use acetone and uh, cotton to uh, soak off the rest of the products so this one is very easy to use all you have to do is just tear it and then uh, insert your fingernails and then you can just leave it there for like 10 15 minutes maximum and the product will come off Thank you. 
after 5 minutes i have removed the index finger uh, pad and as you can see the product is already coming off so i'm using a cuticle pusher to remove that product from the natural nails so when you do this in case if you feel difficulty in removing the product from the nails do not apply pressure do not remove it forcefully you can put back the pad again and then you can wait for like a couple of more minutes and it will come off easily I checked another finger like a couple of minutes later and as you can see here the product is already removed from the natural nails all I, all I had to do was just push it off from the natural nail plate so this is how it should be do not apply pressure do not remove the remaining product forcefully uh, that's when you damage the natural nail so just wait and then you can remove it just uh, as easy as you can see on the screen Once you're done with removing all the products from the nail surface, you can use a 240 grit nail filer to remove any remaining product from the nail surface. And you can also file and shape your natural nails at this point. And once you're done with everything, you can use alcohol and a cotton wipe to wipe off the remainings and you can also clean the nail surface. This will also disinfect your nails in case if there is any bacteria or something. And once you're done with all of this, you can apply some cuticle oil and you can give your uh, natural nails a little massaging and then you can start with a new manicure so now my nails are clean as you can see they are good to go I'm going to do an extension on this and stay tuned for that video and I'll be sharing more tips and tricks uh, so this is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoy this video if you like it don't forget to like share comment subscribe bell icon all those good things and I'll see you soon on my next video stay safe